Roger, Roger. The handle is Peter. Peter, New Zealand, 50 watts. Over. What, where, what is your QTH? Over. Okay, Peter. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, 50 watts. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Sure. Good contact. Zulma Van Sierra, Alpha Sierra. Hotel America East. Lima Nancy Nancy. 73. Bye-bye. What is your QTH? Your, what is your location? Over. Okay, my QTH. South East Hungary. Here we're going to make a 160 meter Wyndham. The best antenna you can ever get. Leaves beams for dead, as I've proven here in New Zealand Bay of Islands. We're about 500 feet above sea level and we're going to run this thing between two 50 foot totara trees and it beats any beam antenna, anything. Beats the whole lot. Fantastic. 50 watts. We've been talking all around the world, having a great time. Now here's the design here coming up on this piece of paper. You can push pause on your on your video and just write this down. The we, we've used um, measurements for 160 meters. That's 265 feet overall, 180 feet one side, 80 foot the other side with a 22 foot drop. And we've used very light coax, very light um, coax for the drop feed to keep the weight off the center of the antenna. And we're going to make our own ballon. There's the ballon there. Piece of cake. You've got to use a ferrite rod, half inch ferrite rod. Fairly easy to find. A couple of turns. You just look at the design. We use special wire. Look at the wire. It's got to be the right diameter and um, type. Fairly easy to find from your electrical shop. So that's your ballon. Four to one ballon. Bloody fantastic fun. You have a line isolator too. The line isolator goes in at the end of the 22 foot drop. I'll show you that in a minute. That's my daughter there. And the pussycat. Hey Lizzie, hi. Hey. hi. You could use ferrite beads for the line isolator, but we didn't. There's a picture of the beads down there. That's your 4 to 1 ballon. And um, glue everything together, keep the water out. I'll put a drain hole in the bottom of the, of the plastic. Now that's your line isolator ferrite rod again, count the number of turns, piece of cake, stops the RF getting back into your shed. Now there, there's the finished product, plenty of silicon, we soldered the wires onto the galvanized, 2 mil galvanized fencing wire, soldered and siliconed, there's my daughter Lizzie. <laughs> 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 uh -huh, Hold there it up she is to, show, to show me that Lizzie, we're going we're gonna to measure that, um, take measure, 22 feet. Now Elizabeth, you walk off down there with that. 20, 22 feet. Here we go. Off you go. Isn't she, a, isn't she a good girl, eh? Keep 22 going. foot. That's your drop and line. Stop. Like I said, using girl. low light coax. Now I've got a really mad way of joining coax here. Everybody think I'm mad, but I'm lazy. You see, I don't like pulling plugs off and stuff. You just solder the center core, tape it, pull your braid together, piece of cake. And you don't get any loss doing this. You only get loss at VHF. Now, a bit of su super glue. I've, I've wrapped a bit of solder around there too, just for extra shielding. Super glue. Yeah, super glue your, 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 your line isolator. Dead easy. Plenty of lovely super glue. And then um, tape it all up. Can't go wrong. Simple. There's your 4 to 1 ballon. That's the drop feed, 22 foot. Up against a fence. I've got a metal fence below the antenna here, which I think helps on transmit. Gives it a good kick in the ass on transmit. The metal fence, I've earthed it as well. And that's your feed, 22 feet. Down to your line oscillator. That's it there. Keeps the RF out of the shack. The feed also acts as an antenna. That's your earth. Plenty of earthing. Silicon. I mean uh, Vaseline, uh, earthwise everywhere. The tin, the tin fence is earthed as well. Acts like a reflector. And we've got a metal driveway way down there as well. Roger, Roger. The handle is Peter. Peter, New Zealand, 50 watts. Over. What, where, what is your QTH? Over. Okay, Peter. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, 50 watts. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Sure, good contact. Zulma Van Sierra, Alpha Sierra. Hotel America East. Lima Nancy Nancy. 73. Bye-bye. 
What is your QTH? Your what is your location? Over. Okay, my QTH. South East Hungary. South East Hungary. Yeah, that's the uh, counterweight off the pulley. Twenty-two pounds, by the way. No, no kilograms. Twenty-two kilograms for the counterweight. That's your tin fence. Acts like a reflector. Driveway. Metal driveway. That's the other tree. Sixty foot totras. There you go, right across from sea view there. Amazing, eh? Fifty five hundred feet above sea level. There's your there's the ballon. All well secured. You must secure the ballon container to the insulator or so it'd break off. You cannot sub suspend it off the wires to the antenna. That's the other tree. Pulley and counterweight. Roger, Roger. Good to talk to you, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, bye bye. Q is that radio? Go, go, go. Tutum. Go to the hotel. Me not the hotel, you know. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Over. Roger, yeah, where are you? Where are you located? What is your location, please? Over. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm not sure where this guy is. Could be the Ukraine. Ukraine on 20, no, 40 watts. <laughs> Thanks to the Wyndham, fantastic antenna.